Hooray for Ali Wood. I stand the mirror, 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 mirror. Well, that's the last time I buy anything at ebots.com. Oh, hello there. Stan the Movie Man here with the WIMZ.com Movie Review. This week, Transformers, those robots in disguise, aren't hiding from the money. They've made a ton so far in just their first six days of release, somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 million. So you're pretty much guaranteed a sequel, at least one. Of course, Transformers is based on the Hasbro toy and the 1980s TV cartoon show. There was also a uh, movie, animated movie, released 21 or so years ago. Uh, it didn't do very well at the box office. But uh, this version features live action actors and CGI robots, and it's directed by Michael Bay, the man behind such big budget action flicks as Armageddon and Pearl Harbor. Shia LaBeouf stars as Sam Witwicky, a young man who's looking to get his first car, just so happens. The car is not chosen by him, the car chooses him to purchase it. It's a, uh, looks like a 76 yellow Camaro, but in fact it is the Autobot known as Bumblebee. Uh, the Autobots and the evil Decepticons have been at war on their home planet of Cybertron for a very long time. Now, they have destroyed their planet, made it unlivable, and they are battling over a cube that is called the AllSpark. The AllSpark makes machines come to life. Now, the evil leader of the Decepticons, called Megatron, is looking for the AllSpark and is going to use it to make all of Earth's machines his soldiers so that he can take over the world as part of a larger plot to take over the galaxy. Uh, the movie is very entertaining. It looks fantastic. The CGI robots are amazing to watch. And it's weird because after I watched the movie, every car I saw on TV I expected to transform into a robot. It was a little weird. Uh, but the parts of the movie that really bring it down are the human parts. Shia LaBeouf, Megan Fox as uh, the hot girl he's interested in. Also, the Army soldiers, played by Tyrese Gibson and Josh Dumel, and the Secretary of Defense, who is John Voight. Um, all those human storylines, I think, are intended to attract women to the story and not just the fanboys. Um, and while I wasn't a fanboy, I'm always into a good special effects movie, and that's what Transformers is. It's the human parts of the story that drag it down a little bit, but not that much. Um, even the parts that are tend to be a little slow do move the story along enough to to make them watchable so it's not impossible to enjoy transformers when the transformers aren't on the screen but when they are there it's a much more entertaining film i give transformers four guitars go to wimz.com to read my complete review as well as to vote on the film that I'll review next week. Until next time, stay in the movie, man. I wonder if that thing is maybe still under warranty.